Hey foodies, welcome back to my channel. I am here out with a new recipe. So today's recipe is Kesri Bath and Rava Upma. First we will prepare the Kesri Bath. For this we need 1 and 1/2 cup suji, 1/2 cup chopped almonds, 1/2 cup of cashew and 1/2 cup of pistachio. I am going to add 2 tablespoon ghee. After it melts I'll add the dry fruits. I'm going to roast it for about 5 minutes. Now I'll remove the dry fruits and I'm adding 2 glass of water. 1 cup of sugar. You can add sugar as per your taste. close lid and wait for a boil after the boil add suji little by little don't add at a time or the suji may get burnt keep the flame low add 1 tablespoon ghee You can also add more. Now let it cook for about five minutes on low flame. Your kesri bath is ready. Now turn off the flame. Serve it when it's hot. It gives a wonderful taste. Your yummy and tasty kesri bath is ready. It's very easy to prepare and kids will love it a lot. Now let's prepare rava upma. For this I have used 1 cup roasted peanuts, 1 cup moong dal, 1 cup dill leaves, 1 cup coriander leaves. 1 cup finely chopped onions and 1 cup ginger garlic paste. I have used 1 cup of refined oil. I have transferred it to a pan. Now I'm adding moong dal. I'll fry until it turns golden brown. Now I'll add the onions and I'll fry both together. until it turns brown now i'm adding the coriander leaf some dill leaves i'll fry it together remember that the flame is low or they may get burnt faster now i'm adding ginger garlic paste fry everything together now add the peanuts fry that also together mix well until everything is combined now add 1 teaspoon turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of red chili powder and salt as per your taste I have used 1 teaspoon of salt. Now I'll mix it everything well until everything is combined together. I'm adding 4 cups of water because I have used 1 and 1/2 cup of suji. Now I'm going to mix everything until everything is combined well in water. 
Now I'll close up the lid and let it cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes open the lid. You can see it's cooked. Now keep stirring and add suji little by little. Don't add it at a time. Remember that the flame is low. Now close the lid and let it cook for 5 to 6 minutes. After 5 minutes open the lid and see your suji has been full on. Mix once again from down. Now finally close the lid and cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes turn off the flame. Your upma is ready. You can see it looks very tasty and yummy. It's very easy to prepare. And kids and adults will love it a lot. Serve when it's hot. Your yummy and tasty rava upma is ready. If you liked our recipe, please like, share, comment, subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.